We recently found out that Bear Paint announced their color of the year for 2024. And if you missed it, it's kind of this color. It's called Cracked Pepper, essentially an off black. And in today's episode of Color Quickie, I'm going to give you some trim colors that I think work really well with it, as well as three color pairings that I handpicked for you. It's James, the color guy from the paint people. And what we're going to do today, like we always do on this channel, is break this color down, talk about how I might want to use it in my home, and then I'll finish off with those delicious color pairings. So first things first, we have basically black as the color of the year with bare paint. And this tells us a couple things. One, we're still living in a neutral sort of zone. This isn't a vibrant red or yellow or green, an off black, which essentially is something that's devoid of color. But what's nice about it is it's a dynamic color because it's so dark, it's so rich. It's maybe not something that you would think of using, especially on an interior painting project because most people think, oh, that's too dark. I don't wanna deal with that. What I like about it, is similar to white and off-white. Black and off-black has that universal appeal because it's less likely to clash with other colors. It doesn't have any real visible undertones that might steer you in one direction when you want it to go in the opposite direction. But I guess let's talk about those undertones first because some people may think, well, what kind of off black is it? Is it a bit cool? Is it maybe brown, earthy, kind of taupey? Really, when you look at it technically, its RGB value is pretty even across the board. And that usually tells us that this is a color that is very much dark, dark, gray. It's not really leaning too far into the blue side of things or the brown earthy side of things. The red is technically dialed down a touch, so you might notice that cracked pepper may appear a little cool in person, especially if you have cooler lighting, whether it's from your windows or your overhead lighting, but not so much that this looks like a navy blue or anything. It's definitely off black, charcoal gray type of color. And we can also tell how dark it is by looking at the LRV, the light reflectance value. If you're new to the channel, this is a very important number. It basically tells us how light or dark a color is. The lower it is, the darker it looks because the less light reflects. And Cracked Pepper has an eight out of 100. So that's pretty low, not the darkest color by Bear Paint, I think they go to around a three out of 100, but still eight is definitely dark enough to be called a dark color for sure. Now, because of this, you may want to be wary about where you use it in your home. If you have a paint color that's not reflecting much light, you're obviously going to have a darker feeling space. And this may be a good thing, but it could also be a not so good thing, depending on what you're going for. What Bear Paint suggests is kind of cool. If you just want to dabble with cracked pepper, you can have it as an accent wall, for example. So you're still going to be able to surround it with a much lighter color or you can go all out and paint all the walls with it, maybe even the ceiling and the trim and just really envelop the space with this dark color. It's allowing you to push the envelope a little bit with your color choices. As an exterior color, I think it's a solid choice. I always love an off black on things like garage doors, maybe trim, maybe front door, but garage door, always a good choice, especially if you have red brick on your home. Now let's get into some other colors that I would suggest for Cracked Pepper. You could look at Bear Paint's Color Trends palette for 2024, get some ideas from there, but I didn't even look at those colors for this video. I'm gonna give you a palette that I curated just for you, for free, because that's what I do. I'm the color guy after all. So to start with a baseboard color, if you're not putting Cracked Pepper on the walls and your trim, and you wanted something a bit clean and off-white, I would recommend Frost because it is a stark, pure white, a little bit cooler leaning, kind of like cracked pepper. So it's gonna be very clean, punchy. It's really gonna jump out and just make your baseboards look nice and fresh. Now, if you wanted a darker trim color, but didn't want an off black, then maybe you can go with suede gray, which is a little more of a taupe rather than a gray. So it's a combination of gray and brown, giving you a little bit of warmth, a little bit of earthiness and just still fitting within that neutral color palette, but just giving you something a little bit different. Color pairing time. So if you're new to the channel, welcome. I got three color pairings that you can use on different walls in your home to go with Cracked Pepper. Or if you just need other colors for your accessories, you can kind of be inspired by these choices and just pick and choose which ones you like. The first one is kind of the safest color pairing and it's called Shoelace. This is a warmer off-white and I opted for that because I tend to gravitate towards warmer colors, generally speaking. It is neutral enough that it's going to really just cooperate with you no matter what sort of decor you have, no matter what kind of flooring you have, it should be fine. You still wanna test your colors before committing to it, so don't take my advice just 
as gospel preach. But usually I find that colors like this work really well in a number of situations and circumstances. Because if you're starting with cracked pepper, that off black, really dark color, you might want a lighter alternative that can just bring in some warmth and airiness into your space. And that's what shoelace does. I sort of see the two as the shoelace on a black pair of Converse shoes. Color pairing number two brings in a little bit of that cool aspect again in a more abrupt way. It is French Colony. It sort of feels like a silvery denim blue, maybe a touch of green hiding in the background, but not enough to make it feel aquamarine or anything like that. This is a mid-tone color, maybe on the darker side of things, but really it serves the purpose of introducing some color, some hue, but still kind of living within that neutral, slightly muted territory. It'll feel a little bit more passive. It's not quite an accent color in my opinion. I feel like you can use this in a number of different spaces in your home. So living, dining room, family rooms, kitchens, definitely bedrooms and bathrooms. Very versatile color, even though it is pretty rich and colorful. But then the unexpected accent color is maybe not what you're expecting. It's called sweet tea. And this is a mid-tone color. It has a 48 LRV and it looks like it's just kind of this light brown tan color. But when you see it compared to the other colors, you really notice it's orange peachy quality. And this really differentiates it from all the neutrals that exist. This isn't gonna feel beige. This will have a real nice punchy quality, but I feel it has a contemporary feel. It is definitely in line with terracottas and clays and oranges. We are seeing a ton of these apricot sort of colors coming into popularity. And I think it's because they have this energy to them. There's this optimism with warmer colors in general, and I love it. And because we were starting with black, there's really a lot you can do with their color palette. So why not go with something that's a little more optimistic? Here's the color palette all together. Let me know what you think. Now we've been doing this channel for several years now, and this is me asking for your help because we wanna continue making this our full-time gig. And the only real way to do it is to get support from you through our Patreon. By becoming a paid subscriber on Patreon, you get a ton of extra bonus content. There's at least 20 videos up there right now that are completely unique. And there's also extra perks where you can dictate which videos I review on our YouTube channel. So a huge thank you for those of you that are supporting us there. It keeps us doing what we're doing. I wanna stay the color guy on YouTube next year, five years from now, 20 years from now. So yes, link down below if you wanna help us out. We have more color quickie right over here if you want even more color palettes for free.